Oleh Bushchuk knows about the arbitrariness of the collection companies personally. The man took out a mortgage in 2006. He paid off the loan, but the debt at the bank continued growing. As a result, the collectors were involved. They aware daily calls, first with explanations, then in reminders, then SMS with threats to the family, such as your children will pay off, your whole family will suffer. They sent letters with broken apartments, with photographs. Two weeks later, a group of collectors arrived, about 12-13 people. They seized a furniture store with goods. They acted as savage, says Oleh. His property was confiscated. He is still in litigation up to this day. Ukrainians turn to MPs regularly with complaints about the methods of collectors. People from all over Ukraine addressed me. They told about threats, collages, images of children in coffins, beatings and letters to working places. The creation of a register of collection companies should put an end to the arbitrariness of such organizations. The National Bank of Ukraine will regulate their work. This is a register where any person, any citizen of Ukraine can check whether this company has the right to call consumers of financial services, demand their debt repayment. That is, does the company have the right to work in the market in accordance with the law of Ukraine? Companies willing to remain in the service market should submit a package of documents to the National Bank of Ukraine. Applications will be accepted from July the 14th to August the 13th. Among the criteria are a transparent ownership structure, qualifications of employees, no criminal record for employees. Besides, the owners of companies cannot be citizens of the aggressor country. If the criteria are not met, then a company will not be included in the register. This is necessary in order to remove black collectors, to provide the collection activities which are common in all civilized countries of the world and which are working according to the laws. Now it is allowed to call debtors only during the day and no more than two times. It is forbidden to threaten, blackmail, humiliate human dignity, call family members or encroach on property. Collectors should introduce themselves and provide all information about the company. In case any of the criteria is violated, collectors will face a fine of up to 6,000 US dollars. A more severe punishment is a ban on activities. As for the banking system, this will do more for the image of a bank, because previously, when the collectors worked, but banks used to sell their debts to collection companies. Quite often, when a client took a loan from a bank and then a collection company called at night, those were the banks who faced a negative backlash. Banks and microfinance organizations are required to publish an online list of collection companies, which they cooperate with. Besides, the possibility of selling the debt to the collection company should be clearly written into the loan agreement. And by the way, the law applies only to consumer loans. Those who faced violations are recommended to record all threats, text messages, calls, names and surnames of the callers. Then one should contact the police and the National Bank of Ukraine. Reported by Vadim Kramer and Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.